Hmm. Imagínate. Look at that shit. Don't mind that uh, that weird photo with the head, the forehead, and the you know bullseye looking target on the head. In this video, this some of you guys have seen it, some of you guys haven't. In this video, it talks about migrants, Hondurans, or young migrants from Honduras. I don't, I don't really care, bro. Immigrants killed the Mexican for renting them a house, and they didn't want to pay the rent. And you know what? I'm gonna just translate what I'm saying. But yeah, dude, hold on. La renta y, so he. Eh, lo que encontró fue la muerte. Hasta donde sabe parece que fue un, un par de 
de jóvenes hondureños. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so this guy that owned the house, he rented the house to some young Hondurians, and then when he came to, uh, you know, charge him for the rent, they kill him. They cut his neck. They slit his throat. El reporte más reciente que tenemos que pues les daba rentada esta esta vivienda, la que ven con con este puertas y ventanas de color rojo. So he's talking about the house right there that has a, a like a burgundy brownish uh, type of door and window right there on the right side next to the pole. Eh, vino a cobrar la renta y pues la persona fue asesinada eh, de los jóvenes responsables. No se tiene the fuck is wrong with his camera? Them. All right, fuck it. You know what? That's yeah. So that's what I want to show you guys. You know what fuck I mean? these immigrants. And I'm tired of all this shit. Like honestly, I'm really tired of seeing these fuckers coming to Mexico and disrespecting Mexico and thinking they are the fucking leaders right here when they're just foreigners, visitors. Because they're not even coming to stay in Mexico. They're going, they're going to the United States. Check this shit out. For the people that can talk Spanish and read Spanish, if you're reading this already, then you already know what I'm going to talk about. For, but for those Americans, for the people that don't speak English, I mean speak Spanish or read Spanish, let me translate this for you. In this post from Guerrero, uh, on, on, right, I'm going to start from the top. Hondurians burned the Mexican flag and say the actions that AMLO has taken are stupid. The embassy of Mexico and Guatemala informed the migrants, Honduran migrants, that they have to show identification to the authorities, Mexican authorities, so they can begin to register each and every one of them, whoever, whoever wants to get into the country, that is, and also so they can identify them and check if they have criminal history or criminal um, crimes pending. The Hondurans, from their part, reacted in a bad way with... Uh, with, you know, talking shit about the, the Mexicans and, and the people at the consulate of Mexico. So they're just going against Mexico, period, because they, they uh, fuck it, let me keep reading it. Irinio Mujica, leader of the Pueblo Sin Fronteras, commented that the actions of Andres Manuel Amlo are stupid. And they, they're even challenging the Mexican authorities, saying that entramos porque entramos. We were going in because we're going in. These are the photos. So right there, they're planning strategically how to put the men in the back of the line of the caravan and put the women and children in the front so they could look 
Hopeless. You know what I mean? So they could like, oh, look, there's a lot of women and children, families. It was all an act, and you guys knew it. We knew it. And they're screaming out slogans, supposedly, that is going to make them look good, like a good image. They're screaming out that we're not killers, we're not criminals, they're, they're killing us, and that we're the, we're the hope of, Ameri of Latin America. These guys, come on, please, whatever. So everything was going good until Honduran migrants from, yeah, from Honduras, I guess, caused problems. And they don't want the camera to see. So they're taking the, the yellow vests from the people that are guiding, that are guiding the, the, the caravan. So these Hondurans are like, now we're going to be in charge. I just heard Mara. That's Salvatruchas, MS-13. They're there. These guys must be drunk or high because they're saying that the Pueblos in Fronteras are actually guiding them to be, um, like, uh, they're going to turn them over to the authorities so they could be deported. I, that's what I'm thinking that he's saying. He's saying, you know what, we're going to take the control because these guys are guiding us so we could get deported as retarded. Alright, so the Hondurans, I guess, are saying that we're not going to let other people, talking about Pueblos Sin Fronteras, guide them to a, to a trap, basically. That's weird, right? I thought Pueblos Sin Fronteras was helping them. And here they are having problems within their own, their own selves. This has always happened in them. For real. Every time they go in a caravan, there's always problems inside, with, within themselves. <laughs> Damn. Look how violent they are, bro. Look how aggressive these fuckers are. You know what I mean? saying that that guy is a politician we're not politicians we're coming here to get um help you know we're, we're we're actually trying to get a you know to united states uh by asylum and these guys are just you know doing their own plans for political reasons
insistían en su derecho de guiar la caravana y decidir su trayecto sin consignas políticas. So remember that plan that they had from the beginning of the video where you know what girls and families in the front and men in the back? Well, these guys are like, nah, fuck that. We're going to go in the front. The men, you know, the ones that could be aggressive and violent, we're going to go in the front. That's basically how it rolls. It's, it's, that, it's that deal, the gorilla with a bone. You know what I mean? The gorilla with a bone is going to win everybody else. It's that mentality. They're being that, you know, big cock type of shit. Wow. So just because they don't know them, they don't want them to be in the front. He said that. Why are they running then? They ran away. The people that they, uh, from uh, Pueblos y Fredos, they I guess they, you know, los corrieron. They said, no, nah, fuck that. Get out of here. Or not even get out of here. They just took control. And they're saying, oh, well, they're running. Why are they running then? If they have nothing to fear, not, no problem, then why are they running? They're running because you guys have fucking sticks, you dumb fucking piece of shit. They're running because you guys are in a group and you guys could kill them. There's no cops right there. You know what I mean? Like, these guys are fucking retarded, bro. Stupid ass motherfucker. Quienes se perdieron la disputa por guiar a la caravana de Fuck, 1500 man. migrantes y los ganadores simplemente se perdieron en la oscuridad y apretaron el paso. El resto de los migrantes no replicaron nada, solo siguieron sus órdenes. Yo sé que no es fuerza que le den de comer a uno, ¿verdad? No es fuerza. Y la verdad, pues, la comida que están dando aquí es fatal. Miren, bueno, miren lo que están dando. Miren, puro frijoles molidos como para que fueran, como que les estuvieran dando de comer a los chanchos. Y la verdad, pues, ni modo, hay que comerse esa comida porque si no, no morimos de nada. We're going to watch that video one more time, one more time, because... What's up with that, bro? Oh my goodness, bro. I don't know if I can get it right now. Yeah, bro. That's done. Sorry, it wasn't clear to me. So, is it fifty thousand for the whole caravan or for each one? It's fifty thousand dollars for every person, and this this time frame. Almost thirty-two hours to receive a response from the government. And so they're saying that they gave the the U.S. government seventy-two hours to decide whether yes or no. And if they said no, she's the the reporter's telling you what's going to happen. What's the worst that can happen if they say no? We don't know what's going to happen because it's the assembly that's proposing and deciding. We are not, we're not taking any decisions for the assembly. All right, guys. Um, when I did that live stream here on King Dragon Kraken, uh, remember when I showed you this kid right here? Yeah, right here he doesn't look that nice without the suit, cause Pan brought him to Mexico to speak against uh, Amlo. 
so that AMLO, Mexico, could intervene in Venezuela when, like I said, it's not our problem. This guy's a terrorist, bro. He was expelled from Colombia. He can't go back to Colombia for doing terrorist, terroristic acts. You know what I mean? The video's right here, too. But it's in Spanish and... Ah, oh, fuck. So they had an operation called Operation Liberty. So terrorists, all right? I just want you guys to know that. And for the political group, PAN, to bring them to Mexico and put them on the floor to speak to all the Senate or the, the Congress? Dude, that sounds like a coup. Thank <laughs> you.